Hey, what's up guys? It's Elastic Sparta here, and in today's video, we're looking at a... Not a community replay, I don't know why I was thinking that. We are looking at some Prince Eugen gameplay. Now this ship is... Uh, it's a fun ship to play, and it's been a while since I have played it uh, myself, and it's been a while since we featured a video on the ship. And I know it's been a while, but uh, it did get some pretty nice, nice buffs, uh... Not terribly long ago, uh, so I'm gonna kind of go over what I think about the ship, some stats and whatnot, and then we'll get into the gameplay. So it is a very nice looking ship, as you guys can see. Uh, nonetheless, we are playing on the map Trap. Uh, this is a pretty good matchmaking, I would say. Uh, for the most part, we are top tier. Well, we are top tier, and there's a few tier sixes. Uh, but mostly tier 7s and tier 8s, so we'll see. have to see how this game turns out. So first, my uh, captain build and modules. What am I using? Well, for my modules, I'm running uh, main armaments mod 1. Damage control, if you got the special hydro, that works too. Uh, aiming systems, um, steering gears, and then finally concealment. Uh, that's probably the best build that you can have for the Prince Eugen. Then, the captain. Well, this is my Hindenburg captain, so one that means that, well, it's going to be more clan battles slash ranked uh, orientated since I didn't really have a choice to, and really like a point to actually changing my captain build. So, for, th for this replay, I'm running a uh, priority target, expert loader, adrenaline rush, expert marksman, basic uh, survivability, superintendent, uh, demolition expert, which is a bit of a interesting one, and then concealment expert. Now you could throw in uh, instead of uh, let's say demo expert and maybe expert loader and get pick up like AFT or manual AA uh, for. Uh, you know the same price so uh, it just depends on how you want to set up your uh, your ship and that's uh, you know certainly a, a very nice possibility uh, you know it's completely up to you and if you do decide to run like AFT you can get your AA out to I think around six kilometers something like that um, which is uh, a very solid uh, number and then you pair defensive fire and you become a decently formidable uh, AA fighting platform uh, for certain uh, carriers, mainly tier 8 and lower tier 9. Um, unless you really spec into it, then that's the only way that the ship can be uh, have very good AA potential. But nonetheless, um, so we've been pretty much farming this Bismarck here uh, on the early stage of the game. He took some torps, but unfortunately he's going to go uh, behind the island, so we're not going to have any shots. But as seeing that the majority of my team is going to A, and then the rest is kind of headed towards B, I think I'm going to follow them uh, and see what happens. So we're going to leave C pretty much uncontested, which typically isn't uh, the best strategy, but it is what it is, and you know we're just going to have to go with the flow. Uh, for me to turn back and go to C at this point would... Uh, one, it would put me out of position, and two, I would have no help from my teammates, which would mean that I am completely left out alone. And a very nice salvo there on the Bismarck for around 4k, and that's one of the nice things about the German cruisers that well, sometimes it's overlooked, right? It's uh, a lot of times the German cruisers with their great HE uh, fire chance, and then also just their raw damage. Uh, and DPM, uh, typically the the German cruisers as a whole are overlooked uh, for their AP potential, and that's really unfortunate because they have some of the better AP in the game. Uh, we're on the Prince Eugen in particular, we've got eight 203 millimeter guns, which allow us to do uh, 5,900 damage uh, per citadel, uh, which is uh, quite amazing. And these guns actually are quite punchy. Now, the shell speed isn't the best, but it does uh, certainly uh, feel good. It feels really good. And even though I, you know, I have to kind of judge this hipper a little bit better uh, with AP, uh, but for my, I haven't played this ship uh, in a very long time. I, I'm, you know, still kind of gauge, trying to gauge the uh, shell velocity. But uh, s certainly, if you play, I played it a couple times. 
uh, in a week, you'll get uh, you'll get through to that. And we can see here that that's a nice level 7k there. And then now that I've got my aim kind of dialed in and this hipper isn't changing course too much, uh, we should expect some citadels even at 13 and a half kilometers. And there we go, 11k on that hipper. So a very nice salvo there. Now, the hipper actually has quite good dispersion uh, when you put aiming systems on it. But base, it has a great... Uh, Great dispersion. With my build, uh, I was able to get it down to about 143 meters, and of course you got 2.0 Sigma, which allows the Hipper, even though it has eight guns, uh, to land very, very nice, consistent salvos on enemies at even 14 uh, kilometers. With the 17.5 kilometer range and a 11 and a half detectability, if you use my build, uh, you actually uh, can can surprise a lot of ships. Um, at that 12 that medium range around 12 kilometers and punish uh, cruisers quite heavily so always be on the lookout for that opportunity and of course you got good german turtle back armor and uh and for the most part you are a very tanky ship you know that hipper on the other team 43.8 k hp which is you know it's not bad for tier 8 but the hip uh, the Prince Eugen though, it gets 45k HP base. And then when you add things like uh, the heals into into account, uh, it's got a standard heal, so it heals at about uh, 0 0.005 uh, or point was that 0.5 percent of its total HP per second, uh, which is uh, pretty standard, right? Uh, there's some exceptions like British uh, cruisers, battleships, that sort of thing. Um, but with this, and if you enable the flag uh, that allows you to gain 20% more HP per second, uh, then you can get a theoretical maximum of 75,240 uh, HP per, uh, back. Or that that's just effective, actually. Not You don't get it back. You get that much uh, right out the door, which is amazing. We're talking, I mean, more than this Massachusetts, the Tyria Battleship, uh, and... Uh, you know, of the likes of tier 9 battleships uh, in terms of stock HP, which for a cruiser at tier 8, that is very, very nice. And unfortunately, I won't really utilize all this HP here, but if I needed to, I could, which is very, very nice. Now, if you don't have that flag, you're still looking at about 70k, uh, which again, is, is amazing. Flat out amazing. So that is one very nice benefit over the Hipper. Uh, the Prince Oregon does have that HP advantage. And uh, one other thing is that you know, while you do have the HP advantage, the maneuverability does kind of slide towards the Hipper. The Hipper has uh, 30, millimeters, 30 meters better turning circle. And then also, uh, uh, was it? it looks like 2.2-ish second rudder shift time uh, better. Uh, so of course, you have to be careful of the way that you're uh, angling and you know that sort of thing and conserving your HP. But you know this la this lack of maneuverability is um, it's compensated for by that heal. Now again, AP on destroyers. Why am I using AP on destroyers? And well, I don't know, but maybe that can tell you why. Four quote unquote overpens for 7k, and surely you'll see why I am using AP on destroyers. Uh, they seem to, it just seems to be that much better. I don't know if the fuse time is different on the Prince Organ, if they mess with that, it doesn't seem like it, um, but it does feel very, very nice. With that being said, uh, would I consist consistently shoot HE or consistently shoot AP at the service? I don't know. I, I just have it loaded uh, at that time, so it is what it is. Uh, but from my experience in this game, like, I mean, if I'm doing 7K a pop, I know he was angled and that sort of thing, but you gotta re you got to consider those things. 7K versus maybe, you know, th uh, maybe 3,000 if I hit four shells. Uh, and maybe some of those would hit modules and do no damage, that sort of thing. So AP is always a, uh, it's not always the best, but 
it seems to always, if the DD angles, it does consistently do more damage. Um, you don't really have a chance to just not do any damage through, you know, those modules. So that is one nice thing about the AP, and it just feels amazing. So we're gonna sh we kill that Gascon. We already up to two kills. Let's see if we can't kill that Gallant with a no look shot, and we snipe him with one overpen. And then the Benson has come back for some more. So we're going to again use the AP. You can see he's angled to us, which does increase the effectiveness of our AP. Uh, it does allow us to get um, better pens. Uh, or increased likelihood for pens, I should say. And we can see there we do another 5k to him. And then, well, he's getting down low. More, H, uh, more HP. And as soon as he goes broadside, there's where the damage drops off. So if you really want to make the AP uh, effective, you have to wait for destroyers to start to angle. That that way, the AP actually... Uh, Pens instead of ore of pens or armor, and that goes to this, uh, that, that's the same thing for battleships as well. So uh, one other thing I thought I'd mention too with the reload, uh, yeah, with reload with the Prince Oregon, it is slightly worse than the uh, Admiral Hipper, uh, and this can be um, it can be interesting. I think it it's fine the 13 and a half second reload. Obviously, when you have AR going, then that's not nearly as big of an issue. Um, so, but you do have a, what is it? 1.5 second uh, difference between the reload of the Hipper and the Prince Oregon. But again, 13.5 second, or 13 seconds is not bad. And as you can see there, I, I can very easily um, get consistent Citadels on this Dallas while pretty consistently bouncing most of his shells. So this ship also gets uh, the good German Hydro. So uh, as you can see here, I'm using that to spot the torpedoes. Not that it's Fabuki, uh, unfortunately, but looks like he is in his own little predicament there. Kill the Helena. And uh, well, with this Hydro, it's it's very nice Hydro. 5.6 kilometers for ship detectability and 3.8 kilometers for torpedoes. And you can see there, that's coming in nice and handy. And then, like I said earlier, once the destroyer is broadside, the AP is just not going to do it much. It's going to overpen. But as soon as you start uh, the destroyer's first angling, you get those nice pens, and we finish off the game with a Kraken. So we did manage to get a Kraken, and a, we picked up a Confederate along the way as well for 137k damage for Citadels, and, well, a, a decent amount of credits earned, right? Uh, 800k, 7k uh, XP, and then 60, 1600 um, free XP, which is very, very nice. Now, of course, I don't need that free XP, but uh, I'm, I'm also need the credits at the moment, but uh, still a very nice game overall. And you, saw, you saw there throughout the replay, I was kind of in the middle of the battle, um, at, you know, that middle section, uh, more towards the end, I was kind of in a bad position, honestly. Um, I had the Gascone to my front, then I had the Nagato in B, and then I had the Massachusetts uh, to my rear as well. So that's actually a very bad position to be in. However, um, I think I managed it pretty well. And, I, and granted, I, I was far enough away where I wasn't the focus fire. And, and in situations like that, that's okay to be, you know, putting uh, several opponents on your side. You just have to be careful and aware. And you saw uh, every time I would shoot at, like, let's say, that Dallas or that DD, I would always look around and look for uh, to make sure no shells are coming in. But of course, my armor did help a little bit at that. But a very nice game, 2,500 base XP, uh, tops the team, and beats out the second earning person on my team, the Lightning, by about 1,000 uh, XP. Dan damage distribution, here it is. Uh, primarily AP usage. Uh, only did I use HE if I uh, thought that the battleship was not turning, or turning in and going to be... Uh, not very effective with my AP and yeah so it is what it is and you saw I received only 25k didn't really utilize all the heals too much but um, at least you guys know the effectiveness of those heals which it is quite effective and then credits and XP 700 grand for a tier 8 hello 
uh, a very very nice credit earning potential this prince organ has so if i don't think the prince organ is currently on sale but if it is or if it ever goes back on sale uh, i would honestly recommend picking this up i was luckily enough lucky enough to get this from a crate uh, which is very very nice a while back but uh certainly consider this ship because this ship is actually uh it's a very solid pick and of course you have things like the turpits and the sharn horse but uh, if you're a cruiser player and you love german uh, German ships, the Prince Oregon is one of those ships that does not disappoint. Anyways, guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed this replay. I hope you enjoy, uh, also learned something. I know it was a little bit more statistical, f uh, stati statistically focused uh, for this replay, but uh, hopefully you guys could maybe see some of the places where I went wrong, and I tried to nitpick myself a little bit there too. Um, but nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed the replay, learned something, like, dislike, comment, all the good stuff. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day, guys. See you guys.